So if you run short of hot water, your dip tube may be bad. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to check it and what to do. If you have a fairly new water heater, but you're running short when you're bathing of hot water, you may have a bad dip tube. A dip tube is this piece, and what it does is take cold water to the bottom of your heater, where it's heated by the elements or burner in your water heater, allowing the hot water to naturally rise up and go to your bathrooms or your kitchen. Well, when the dip tube is broken or falls completely off, cold water comes in your water heater, and mixes with the hot water and goes right out. So a symptom of a bad dip tube is within just minutes of starting to shower or bathe, you'll notice the water getting colder and colder, and then finally it will be tepid and then freezing cold. Well, there's still 40 or 50 gallons of hot water down in the bottom of the heater, you just can't access it. Dip tubes have been a, a problem in the industry for years, as a matter of fact, uh, years ago they had a recall on the dip tubes. They were breaking and fracturing. They've since corrected that problem, but many old water heaters still suffer from a dip tube failure. You'll take the water heater open, and this tube will actually be just laying down in the corner. So people think their water heater is bad. They call a plumber, and a plumber sells them a new water heater, when actually all you need is a new dip tube. The dip tube is quick and easy, not expensive to repair, and what it will do is give you a full 40 or 50 or 60 gallons of hot water to use and you'll see a night and day difference for a small service call fee and a small inexpensive part installed in your water heater. If you like our videos, please leave a comment below. And for a new home care video every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like us and share this video with your friends. If you live in the greater metro Atlanta area, Give us a call at Reliable and we'll have our plumbers come out, inspect your dip tube and replace it if necessary. You'll be very pleased with the end results.